In this video, I'll teach you how to do a CS2 guide for any map, including how to get different colors and all of these fancy stuff. So the first thing you want to do, you want to start a practice session into the competitive mode. Select any map you want and select all the options that you want. Once you load up in the server, set your SV underscore cheese to 1 and SV underscore allow underscore annotations to 1. Next, now you can create all whatever you want to. So the first thing we're going to go through is line. It sounds very complex, but it's quite simple. It's just forming two lines between two points. So let's say I want to form a line on this surface outside the window and make a rectangle. So let's say I want to start here. So since we are doing it on a surface, we're going to use the parameter surface and new since we are creating a new node. Next, we're going to move our crosshair to where we want the line to extend and we're going to remove the new since we want it to extend to the existing node. Always remember when you're doing it this way, that the previous node always becomes the place from where your current node is deriving the line from so just be kind of sure of that so if you want to save this append command is not going to work unless you create the file so in order to create the file you're going to use this command that way it's going to be done let's try to create another line right over here oops now you see that i didn't intend this to happen i wanted to create a line across the window but since I didn't create a new node, it went to the previous one. So in order to remove, so you can use the delete node command and that will delete the node, but you can still see it because first you need to save the changes. And even after saving the changes, you might not see it because it's loaded already into the memory. So you want to reload the program and that way that line is now gone completely. So we're going to learn how to create dynamic lines now which is the floating lines so in this case it is not your crosshair but you as a person who is the origin and the destination of the line so you start the new right over there and then you end it right over here and it's going to draw a line in space between your positions at two different points so basically how it works is that you have a root node and no matter how you move your crosshair to the second position and if you are creating a node there the line will follow the position of the previous node it's quite simple so i just made this animation for you to understand it next up position because you want to tell where to stand right so let's say you want to mark the position right over here you're going to use the annotations underscore create space position command and then you're going to enter a string just say stand here and you're going to notice this feet kind of thing and a circular glow which is quite good and you're obviously going to see this text which we passed as an argument stand here next you want to show where you want to aim so you're going to use the spot command and that is going to help you to create this dynamic arrows which if you move away to from them they're going to turn red and when you align they're going to turn yellow so that done but we also need to have text to show like what you need to do what kind of smoke it is so you're going to use the create text command and over here you can pass two arguments but i'm gonna tell you to pass one when it comes to the text and description i'll let you know why at the end so first you pass whatever smoke name second you just keep it empty now the float is because you want to have it float and face player command this command which you see is so that even if you move it's just gonna be on top of you so it's limited i mean it's kind of stuck to your vision so again you want to do the same thing but this time instead of the title parameter you're going to enter your text into the description parameter just like this and you may be like why am i doing it twice in a row i'll let you know the difference at the end when it makes sense so you can do this this is one of the options which you have and there is an advantage of doing it this way let's say if i pass both of these arguments this way together and then I just say over here. I'm going to press enter. And you see it did the same thing. However, it did it much more faster. But then why am I telling you that the first way is better? But before that, you need to understand one more thing. That is the grenade command. So you can also create a grenade command. which is create grenade. Over here again, you can pass a title and description. But each will kind of create two nodes. You don't have to understand it in detail. It's just that just pass two arguments over here. Any arguments, it doesn't matter. You can have it float and face player this is not going to work right over here so you just press enter now you're going to see a lot of things you're going to see the smoke icon where to go this arrow and you're going to see some text on the screen so now let's jump into the main part 
so first make sure you save everything because otherwise the things are not going to write in your file then you want to navigate right over here and op open this file in any text editor it doesn't matter now let's search for grid 8 and you see over here it is going to have a text right over here stand here and standing instructions for me if you want to add more instructions you can for me standing here is enough so i'm just going to remove the description now again i'm just going to go scroll down we're going to go to our second node obviously you can change the color as well if you want to there's a lot of options you can tinker with it and see what helps you then over here you want to change this let's say i'm going to say it e kind of fast connector smoke and then over here i'm going to say run throw because it is a run throw so i can save those changes and since we are here let's also go to our line so if you want to change the color of the line you can do so even if the parameter is not there you can add it yourself and you can edit all the rgb values that you want to so finally equals text when you search here now i'm going to tell you the difference so you see the one which i created differently i'm able to change the color for each of them so again i'll come over here i created the description right over here so again i can change the color for it separately that is the title and description can have different colors because we created two nodes right but over here we cannot do so because we cannot nest the color variable inside kind of this title and description i wish we could that way it would be way more easier but we can't and that is the reason i did it the first way but if you don't need colors and stuff like that you can do it any way you want it's up to you nobody's judging you so that done save all the changes and once you're in the map you'll have to again reload everything so once you reload you're gonna see that this looks yellow because we changed the values but it affected everything same thing over here it affected all both of the values but over here we can have different colors because we created two different nodes in order to do so and it looks quite pretty one more thing you need to keep in mind is if you want to transfer this file you'll have to place it in the same folder and if you want your friend to run it you'll have to run it using the loot command and there you go this is how you can create map guides and if you have any better ideas or you know things to do in a way more efficient way please let me know in the comments because since this is a new thing and there is no code block for it on how to execute stuff and other things so just let me know in the comments until then take care